Hi there, um, my name's Martin, Martin Royce, and my good friend Mike is with me, Mikey Connolly. Um, and we are here to talk about uh, an organisation in uh, Hollywell in North Wales called the... Uh, what, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good stuff. Hollywell Area Services Community Lab. There you go. I'm getting old and senile, you see. <laughs> I forget my own name after time. <laughs> well, we're just talking about this. <laughs> anyway, you know, that, that, so that's what we're here to talk about. Uh, I, I know it really is Haskell, which is uh, the abbreviation for the Hollywood Area Services Community Lounge. See, I do know what it is, really. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, um, when, when was it before, Nike, about? When do you think we first kind of talked about doing something? Um, we first started talking about it a couple months ago, but we we first started putting sort of ideas into action about two months ago. Yeah, so around about August, perhaps, to 2023, something like that. Um, and, and what it was born from, really, is Mikey and I were both keen modellers, uh, and I don't mean prancing up and down a stage with a short <laughs> skirt on and suzzies and stuff, Um we were both into making uh, dioramas and plastic model kits and building and both members of Models for Heroes, which we'll talk about in a bit. Um, and really, it kind of came from we needed somewhere to operate uh, Models for Heroes sessions. But then I think talking, we decided that we could offer more than that, didn't we, Mikey, really? Yeah, well, we started to meet up and start doing activities with some of our other veteran buddies. So we started going out doing meetings some museums and things like that days out. at first we had nowhere to operate from although we were looking for somewhere uh, nowhere suitable anyway um so we looked at uh, a few places in the hollywell area and uh, eventually found that the uh, hollywell town council uh, have got a um, facility there which uh, we could use so we applied um for that but because it was school holidays obviously we had to wait didn't we um, and in the meantime, we uh, we went doing some activities with other veteran friends of ours. And I, I can't remember where, where where have we been, Mikey? Uh, we've been to Cheshire Military Museum. We've been to Choxway Diner in Harden, and we've been to the bakery. That was we've done. Yeah, real community bakery. Um, yeah, we've so we've been about, and we've had a few meetings with other veterans and done stuff. Um, and then luckily the uh, Hollywell Town Council, who we're very grateful uh, for, had a, um, a meeting and uh, it was put to the council. Um, our proposal to use their facilities once a week um, to have drop-in meetings. So it turned around that not only could we offer modelling sessions with Models for Heroes, but we could offer drop-ins for... Uh, well, you tell us. You tell us what the what the drop ins are all about, Mikey. So the drop ins start at about ten o'clock in the morning. Um, it's just somewhere where whether they have horses, their families, or the local community can just come in, sit and have a nasty and a cup of coffee, and have a bit of friendship and chew the fat a little bit. Yeah, I think that's an important point as well. Who who the our project um, is aimed at. Of course, uh, a lot of veterans organisations are aimed purely at veterans, um, whereas we're kind of aimed at um, veterans of the HM forces, that's uh, Navy, Army and Air Force, um, as well as uh, serving members as well. Um, blue light services, so that's uh, ambulance, fire brigade and police, again, serving all, ve all veterans. Um who else are we aimed at? Um, Merchant Number. Navy uh, mm. and obviously members of the community because we feel it's important to integrate um, veterans and service people with uh, community members. and that's, So that's who we're aimed at, a wide range of people really, aren't we? Yeah, um, especially things like veterans' wives and things like that because they don't get enough support these days as well. No, exactly. And wives, of course, of veterans um, or even sadly veterans who have passed away you know their, their loved ones who are used to being in a military environment or a services environment are more than welcome um, to come and, and join us as well um, yeah. so as Mikey says 10 o'clock in the morning we uh, we open for 
uh, on a Wednesday currently. Um, we open for drop-in sessions. Uh, we offer a free cup of coffee, free cup of tea, free biscuit and a free natter. Um, now, one thing we can't do is we, we can't offer advice uh, on, on problems. You know, if you've got financial problems or health problems or anything, legal problems, that's something we can't deal with. But we can help you um, by what something we call signposting. Uh, I'm sure Michael will explain a little bit more about signposting. Yeah, so whilst we can offer advice, what we can do is we can offer, we can show you how to get into the different organisations that probably could offer you advice and support and what you need to deal with. Um, and I've got to say, and I think Mike would agree with me, very often problems can be solved by simply talking to other veterans who have who've had similar problems. Um, a lot of the time. Yeah, a lot of the time. Uh, most people solve problems just by talking to them and giving them a chance to sort of get things straight in their own minds as well. It tends to help a lot. Yeah. So that's um, 10 till 12 o'clock. We offer, we offer these uh, drop-in sessions. We say very, very low-key, uh, absolutely no pressure whatsoever. Come and go as you wish. Have a cup of coffee. Have a giggle. Um, you know, talk about whatever you want to talk about and, uh, and off you toddle again if you're not into modelling. Because at um, 12.30 till 3.30, um, again, at the, uh, the town council offices in Tesco's car park in Hollywell, um, we offer model making. Uh, now, Mike is a very, very keen model maker, as indeed I am. I'm a, a volunteer for an organisation called Models for Heroes. And um, Mike is also a member. Uh, how long have you been a member for, Mike? Uh, just over 12 months. 12 months. I came up on Facebook the other day that my first post about them was 12 months ago. And what, what's your experience of uh, Models for Heroes? I know you're very keen on it. Yeah, I love it. It gives me a way to sort of uh, focus my mind and distract me from things that are upsetting me or worrying and things. Get yeah. me a chance to catch it down again. <clears throat> Now, I'm not going to go into lots of details about Models for Heroes on this video because we're, we're really not here to talk about Models for Heroes. Um, but I will say it's a wonderful organisation that supports veterans and serving members of the forces and uh, blue light services. Um, and it costs nothing at all. Nothing to join, nothing to take part in the modelling sessions if you're a veteran. Um, we can offer free support, free model kits and everything at um, Haskell meetings. Um, so that's 12 till 3.30. Um, um, I will put the details for all the timings and addresses and postcodes and everything on the description for the video. Um, and if you are local to Hollywell or just passing by and you'd like to come and see us, please do. Um, but if you want to come there uh, in the morning and do modelling, um, you, know, model, you know, building model kits or talk about model making, Please don't feel you have to wait till 12.30. You don't. If you want to start building models at 10 in the morning, you can. Likewise, if you feel that you want to come in for a chat and a cup of coffee uh, in the afternoon, don't think that because we're model making at half past 12 till half past 3 that you can't. The kettle is always on. Um, and there's always a, a, a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, a hobnob <laughs> or, or so, you know, something available. Um, yeah. And friendly faces to talk to, uh, or also, friendly people. If you're into scale modelling, but you're not a veteran, you can also join the Friends of Models for Heroes group as well. That's on social media. And they hold um, online drop-in sessions every Saturday as well. Um, so, what does the future hold for us, Mikey? What, what do you think? What are we going to? What are we looking at doing? Um, well, the room, the part of the room we're using at the minute. For scale modelling, that's getting quite full. We're having, I think yesterday we had 11 people turn up. So that turned out to fill the room quite nicely. So we might have to move into one of those slightly bigger rooms. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, if enough people start coming, the local community start coming more and things like that, then we could, there is scope to expand to an extra day at the uh, council offices. Um, we want to start doing days out more, you know, just going out as a group of friends, you know, going 
going out visiting castles or museums or whatever people want to do. Maybe even go for walks and things. Um, again, friends is a very, very important thing. Please don't think from listening to our video that we're only offering drop-ins and we're only offering uh, model making and, and you know meetings at, at various places. I think it's very important in the in the veterans community that we are supportive of each other, um, and we will support our um, members, um, visitors, whatever you want to be. You know. We are, we haven't got real membership, have we, Mikey? You know, we're not having yeah. that, are we? You could come and go as you wish, you know, so you're not tied into paying a membership or turning up every week if you don't want to. It's very relaxed, very easy going. Yeah. But, you know, any, anybody's got any, you know, issues, any problems that they need to discuss, uh, like I say, we can't refer you to organisations, but we can certainly signpost you. So, final words, Mikey, apart from sod off. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that on YouTube, dude. <laughs> Get banned. <laughs> Sorry, you're not one of those. Yeah, we we achieved quite a lot in quite a short space of time, I think, um, especially with no funds and things like that. So, yeah, it's, it's come quite. Like I say, we've got 11 people turning up on a Wednesday already. So that's quite cool. There's there's other organisations where you might get two or three turning up. So we are doing quite well, and there is obviously a need for it, especially in the northeast Wales yeah. area. Yeah. And to be fair, it, it was good, wasn't it? There was a good bit of banter, and everybody was enjoying themselves mm. and had a bit of fun. And actually, um, there are two people that have turned up to our model sessions that have uh, never built models before, um, mm. but they've got quite well into it and, and enjoying it and doing a good job of it as well. Yeah. Um, you know, they're not all veterans, but... Whilst where the group's run by Mold of Heroes, the veterans are working with members of the public and things like that as well to help them to learn about model making. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, and that, and that is part of the project that we will be doing at the uh, Chester Military Museum uh, mm -hmm. next year in the school holidays. Um, but again, as I say, I won't give you too much details about that because we're not really sure ourselves other than it's in the school holidays next year. <laughs> uh, but it is aimed greatly at uh, veterans, military uh, history, model making, and kids, children, introducing them to the hobby. Yeah. Um, so we're very keen to work on that. So um, if you happen to be a veteran, a member of the community living in the Hollywell area or can travel to Hollywell area or passing through Hollywell area anytime <laughs> on a Wednesday between 10 and 3.30. We would love to see you. Coffee and tea is free. Friendly faces are free. Biscuits are free. Hobnobs. Malcolm, we'd be glad to know we've got hobnobs. <laughs> um, it's the official biscuit of Model for Heroes. <laughs> Some strange reason. Um, there you go. So... I think that's about it, isn't it, Mikey? That sums yeah, it up. So. Yeah. Right, we will put all the links and stuff into the video and everything else for you and in the description as well. So, look forward to seeing you. Take care. Bye now. Tati bye.